Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2. So in this video, I'll be showing you to the website builder. So how do you use it? Tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out their software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you use the Duda website builder here? Well, in this case, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go ahead and open up any browser that you have. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. So go to duda.co. Now, in here, there's going to be a few buttons, some information that you can view here, but what we need to do is we just need to click on the start free trial at the top right of your screen. Now, in here, you can actually try Duda for 14 days for free before you actually buy the uh, tr uh, the actual plan to use Duda. But in this case, let's go ahead and click on the sign up with Google option here. Or in this case, you could even enter your actual, uh, in this case, your details manually here. Let's go ahead and click on sign up with Google here. Choose our Google account. Click on confirm. And once we've confirmed that, we should be able to create our account. Now, in this case, let's go and set up our account here. So what description fits best here? So let's just say I'm a freelancer and we want to say what is our experience in web uh, building websites. So maybe I want to say I design websites uh, and, and maybe I want to say I build websites or uh, in this case, let's go and say I build websites without code. Let's go and go and get started. Now, from here, what we need to do is we now need to start creating our website. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on the Create a Site button that we see at the very center of our screen. Now, in this case, we now need to choose a template that we want to use. So you could basically create something from scratch here. Choose one of the following templates here. So in this case, maybe I want to use this uh, page here. So this is kind of an example page that we could play with around. Now, by the way, you could also view what it's going to look like on different devices. So in this case, uh, if you want to view it in your PC, in tablet, or even in on the mobile format here. Now, in this case, you could also browse different categories here if you're looking for something uh, specific, like if you have a restaurant and food business, if you want a uh, event type of uh, uh, option or templates here. But again, we want to use a blank one page here. Let's go and click on preview here. And from here, it's going to give us some preview on what's going to look like. So if you want to uh, see it first, but let's go and click on start building here to use it. And let's just enter a name here. So in this case, maybe I want to name this as my portfolio. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on start building and it should start creating our website here. So let's just wait for it to load up. But once it's actually loaded up, you should now be able to start editing your website. In this case, uh, you could go ahead and access this by clicking on anywhere on your blank screen here. But yeah, so in this case, how do we start uh, using it? So first is our layers. So let's first discuss the different parts that we could actually access within Duda. So first is layers. So think of layers like if you're familiar with Photoshop or any other editing tool out there, uh, most tools or editing tools have different layers. So layers is a great way for you to uh, from the name itself, layered things. So in this case, uh, we have our section here, which is our first section. Our second section, which is the uh, section that you see here that has the add your slogan here. So this is a great way for you to view different elements that you've already added. So just in case you've lost track of something, you can actually view it, view them in here, go ahead and click on it and you'll know where it's actually located as you can see right now. So also, if you wanted to hide a specific button, you could also click on the eye icon here to hide that specific section or element. You could also hide sections here if you want. So if you click on the eye icon again, it's a great it's a great tool here to basically manage the view or quickly manage the view of your a website. So yeah. So in this case, we also have our teams here, which includes the general colors of our website. So if you change the team colors here, this will affect the whole website. So be careful. So for example, I want to set this to uh, this color. You can go ahead and basically choose that. And this will update the whole site. As you can see right now, it updated just uh, now. Now, you can change all our other colors here if you want. But yeah, so anything that you want to change here, like the text, the images, the background, so any defaults that will, appear, will be appearing to your website is where you'll be able to edit. Now, we also have our pages here. So in this case, like for example, if you want to add a new page and edit pages, this is how you switch over to different on those different pages. So we have our features, how it works, our section, we have the testimonials here. You could go and click on add page if you want to. So yeah, if you want to add a page here, just click on add page and choose the page builder, blank page, design page here, dynamic page if you want to, or even add a page URL if you want. But yeah, 
So in this case, we also have the widget section here, which in this case allows you to add the different elements that you see here. So for example, we want to add like a button. So you could just press and hold on it, drag it into your section here, and you, that should add your button. Now in this case, you could also customize it. It should open up a content or a editor here that you could change. So for example, where do you want to add it? Or where do you want to add the link for your button? So either web address, pop up, or an existing page within the web page, web page itself, or anchor it within the actual page here, or click to call here, file for download. So yeah, you could basically customize this to your liking if you want to, but each of the widgets that we see here has their own functionalities. So depending on what you need and what you uh, basically add here, that will be dependent on the widgets that you'll be adding. Now, again, when you add something here, just to give you an idea again, let's go ahead and add, maybe I want to add a, let's just say I want to add a different, uh, different a media slider here. This is just an example, but yeah. In this case, we have our slider here. So just in case you close the editor itself, you can still edit this by clicking on the edit design option. So the right side, you have the option to edit the design for it itself. So whenever you click one of the elements, so just to give you an idea, whenever you click one of the other elements here, you can change a few things. As you can see right now, the alignment, spacing, size, uh, size animation. Same thing with this one. You can go ahead and edit this. If you click on the tree dot icon here, you have the option to do the HTML, CSS. You can even add comments, lock editing for client, set as anchor if you want to and hide this on this specific device. Because if you're not aware yet, you could actually switch over to different devices here. You have our tablet view, we have our mobile view. So in this case, just in case if this doesn't look good, you could actually hide that on that specific device. Now, also, you could duplicate this if you want to. If you want to manage your media, you could go and click on Manage Media and basically up, update this one to a different one. Like if you want to replace this, you could basically choose one of the images here or even upload your own image by clicking on the Upload Images option here. But yeah, so in this case, let's go and close this one. Now, we also have our content here, which in this case allows you to basically manage your content. So in this case, you could collect content for your uh, for your client. Like, for example, if you're a freelancer, you could collect, uh, collect content like any of the images that, that you need. So in this case, you need to copy the link that you will be uh, in here uh, so that they can upload content to their site and form uh, uh, will be include information that has already been included. So yeah, so in this case, there's a way for you to collect content from your manager. As we all know, accurate content images that are really that they get that is directly related to your client is something really important. Now we also have our per personalize here, which in this case you could personalize the website itself. So in this case, you have the notification bar here, pop up rules if you want to select some rules, holiday and special events. So it is a great for you to personalize it, add some rules. So for example, maybe I want to add a holiday and special events. Let's even select rule here. In this case, you have the option to uh, edit this, like similar rules uh, here as well if you want. So if the visitor comes to decide with between the following dates here, this will actually add some snowflakes, which is something really cool because this will actually uh, make your site a lot more interesting and a lot more fun. So yeah, the, your visitors will be surprised. Hey, there's some snowflakes here. So this is just a good way for you to add some fun into your website. We also have the sell online here, which is a good way for you to start selling online. But this is more advanced, and uh, in this case is in this case additional features. But if you just want to build like a uh, simple website that. Uh, showcase your business or your portfolio. This is uh, it's actually pretty simple. Also have memberships here if you want to what, basically add like a lock in into your website, you could add a membership if you want to. Now blog here is basically a way for you to start blogging. So if you want to add some blogs, uh, all of those details, you're going through that as well. Now any other features that is not supported within Duda, you could actually install a third party, uh, in this case, a, an app for that. So some apps are paid, some apps are free. So if you do see a free plan, it means that you could basically use it for free, but some limitations, free trial is just for name yourself free trial. But yeah, be careful on what you install here. Again, some of the apps are paid, but you can browse different categories if you want to, or even search for a specific one that you're looking for. Yeah. And also we have our SEO settings. If you want to change like SEO, like change, if you want to change the Fabicon that you see here, on your website whenever someone is accessing it. You could also open the grab for image sharing on social media. Also have the mobile device home screen icon if you want to change those. You have also Google tools here, your redirects, head HTML, site backup, 
site languages, and all those details. I also have the 404 page here if you want to customize it and make it a lot of fun. So just in case your the website doesn't load up properly, there's going to uh, this the design. So you could basically design that, which is something really uh, something really fun. Just in case something went wrong, but hopefully not. But yeah. So in this case, uh, once you're done with your changes, you could go ahead and click on publish. Now, by the way, if you've like, for example, you've done something wrong, you could actually undo your edits or redo your edits. You could also uh, save or see the status of your save here. But then again, once you're done, you could either, either click on preview here and to review your uh, site, just click on back to editor here to view it back again. You could go and click on publish here to publish your website. But once you've your website's published, you should be able to see the actual uh, domain here. If you want to purchase domain, this is how you do it. You could also use already existing domain here, but you just need to follow the on-screen steps for you to connect your domain. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.